Even a caveman can do it, part one, solving systems of equations. Meet our friend, the caveman Og. He feels a little bit out of place in the 21st century. We want to help him get with it. We would like to help him get out of the cave and maybe get with some 21st century honey. He's getting a little tired of eating rotten maston meat, but for that to happen, he will need to get a job, and Neanderthal skills just won't cut it. Fortunately, I've been able to teach him some algebra, which puts him in a great position to get that job. I've taught him to solve systems of equations by graphing, and I'll be able to check his work using my graphing calculator. This will help us to see the results of going caveman by graphing with the graph paper, and then we can check using 21st century technology. Here we have the first system of equations Og will solve today. We have negative 2x plus 3y equals negative 9 and x plus 3y equals 3. Og graphs the first equation by covering the y term with his newly evolved opposable thumb. He is left with negative 2x equals negative 9. He solves for the x-intercept by dividing by negative 2, so negative 9 divided by negative 2 is 4.5. He now marks 4.5 on the x-axis as the x-intercept. Now he covers the x-term with his opposable thumb, and that gives him 3y equals negative 9. The y-intercept is negative 9 divided by 3, so that equals negative 3. He marks it on the y-axis at y equals negative 3. Now he can draw the line connecting the two points. Now Og finds the x-intercept of the second equation by covering the y-term. This one's real easy, x equals 3. He just marks the x-intercept at 3. Now he covers the x-term. He has 3y equals 3. He solves for the y-intercept by dividing both sides by 3, so y equals 1. He marks the y-intercept at y equals 1. Og now connects these points with a line. Og now sees where the lines cross and declares that the solution looks to be about 4, negative 0.5. He tells us he cannot be 100% sure of the exact location because of line thickness error, but he knows that he's at least pretty close. He asks us to check it in our calculator by graphing. We first go to the y equals view. We enter the first equation by opening the negative 9 after parentheses. Then we get rid of the negative 2x on the left by doing what? Well, we have to add it. We complete our solving for y by closing parentheses and dividing by the coefficient of y, which is 3. Next, we go down to enter the second equation in y2 by scrolling down and opening the parentheses and entering 3. We get rid of the x on the left. How? Well, we subtract it. Finally, we solve for y by closing parentheses and dividing by the coefficient of y, which is 3. Now we graph by pressing graph or zoom 6. I hope you notice how close these lines graphed are to Og's original graphing. We find the solution by pressing second, trace, 5, enter, enter, enter. And we get 4, negative 1 third. And that's very close to Og's calculation by graphing. We would have to say that Og really distinguished himself and is so far proving himself worthy of the amenities of the 21st century. Let's have Og do another one and we'll check them again. We have 6x minus 8y equals 40 and 5x plus 8y equals 48. He solves the first x-intercept by placing his opposable thumb over the y term. So he has 6x equals 40. 40 divided by 6 is 6 and 2 thirds. He marks the spot on the x-axis that might in your calculator turn out to be 6.666, you know what I mean. Now he covers the x term to solve for the y-intercept. He has negative 8y equals 40. To solve, he divides, di divides 40 by negative 8 and gets negative 5. He marks negative 5 on the y-axis as the y-intercept. Og draws the line connecting the points. Now he covers the y term for the second equation. He gets 5x equals 48. He divides 48 by 5 and gets x equals 9.6. He marks 9.6 on the x-axis as the x-intercept. Now he covers the x-term. He gets 8y equals 48. He solves for the y-intercept by dividing both sides by 8, so y equals 6. 
He marks the y-intercept of 6 on the y-axis. He draws a second line through the two points. It looks like the intersection of the two points is at approximately 8, 1. So he writes that down. Again, he's not 100% sure, but that's the best answer he has right now. Now we will check Og solution with the graph and calculator. We first go to the y equals view. We start the first equation by opening with the parentheses and placing the 40. Now we get rid of the 6x on the left. How? By subtracting 6x. Finally, we close the parentheses and divide by the coefficient of y, which is negative 8. We go down to y2 and enter the opening parentheses and then 48. We move over to the 5x on the left. How do we do it? Well, we subtract the 5x on the right side, which we've done here. To finally solve for y, we close the parentheses and divide by the coefficient of y, which is 8. We graph by pressing zoom 6 or graph. We notice that these graphs look pretty much the same as Og's original drawings. We solve by pressing second, trace, five, and after five we have to wait for it to graph out, then enter, enter, enter. We see that this time Og has scored a perfect hit with his graphing method, and the answer is eight comma one. It looks like Og's day of eating rotten mast on meat may soon be over. Let's give Og one more system to solve. Three X plus 6y equals 6 and 2x minus 3y equals 4. Stop the video. See if you can solve by graphing. Then check Og's solution by restarting the video. Here is 3x plus 6y equals 6 graphed. And here is 2x minus 3y equals 4 graphed. The solution appears to be 2 comma 0. We check Og solution by storing 2 for x in our calculator and 0 for y. So a 2 storage x, 0 storage y. Now we enter 3x plus 6y to see if we get 6. We do. So this equation is satisfied by 2 comma 0. Check. Now we check the other equation by entering 2x minus 3y to see if we get 4 as an answer. We do. Check. Og is right again. It looks like prosperity is just around the corner, probably a 21st century girlfriend as well. If you have a job opportunity for Og or something for him to work out, email it to me at gdog at gdogenterprises.com and I'll see if we can work something out since I'm his employment agent as well as his teacher. This has been Even a Caveman Can Do It Part 1, Solving Systems of Equations. Thanks for viewing.